this time of year is kind of janky for us because <laughs> you know the fashion industry has their idea of what's happening, but Houston has its idea of what's <laughs> happening weather-wise. I had this dress on a couple of weeks ago and I was wearing thigh-high boots, and now I've got just like regular uh, shoes on. Well, ultimately, that's what we're all about is we want to create pieces that you feel like can take you from fall to spring, and we just are into this effortless idea of what you put on. If you want to make it, if it's cooler outside, throw on those boots, and today, put on your sandals. Mm -hmm. That's what it's all about, and it is unpredictable here. Yeah. So you never know what you're going to get. Right. All right, Elaine, um, <laughs> I think there's so many people now are looking at fashion as, as a career choice, probably more so than ever before, partly because of those reality shows that are on, <laughs> right? Um, but before, we thought design came from someplace else, over there. But Houston's a vibrant city for yes. that, isn't it? Oh, I'm so, I feel so blessed to be from Houston and to have my business based here. I feel like the community is so supportive of, you know, not only these big industries like oil and medical, mm -hmm. but they really get behind their own. Yeah. So, I mean, I look at myself as sort of this regional entrepreneur and the Houston family just comes right behind me and shows up and, I mean... I'm grateful. Yeah, remind folks how you got started. You know, I started about 20 years ago, and I'm. I have the first hand. <laughs> I know there's archives handbag. now. Yeah. There's official archives, <laughs> um, and you know, it's just been this organic growth. I just I own the company with my husband, and it's been I think you know a beautiful entrepreneurial story. I've worked hard. All right, a beautiful story and some beautiful clothes. <laughs> yeah. uh, let's take a look at our first dress here. I uh, love the LBD, the little black dress. As Coco Chanel said, everybody needs one. Uh, you can twist it so many yes, different ways. Exactly, and you know what? We're focusing on these. Transitional looks. I like you said the unpredictable weather. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to come out with a chic black dress, but add something to it, like this really fun sleeve detail, this fringe detail. Give her some coverage. You know, mm -hmm. some people don't like showing their arms, so I wanted to add that detail that you know I feel like you could feel a little more coverage, and then pop it with an incredible clutch. Again, all about fringe and raffia and these fun color yeah. play. You've always been great about using really cool uh, textures, yeah. cork, yeah. raffia, yeah. Uh, and then of course your jewelry is locally sourced. Yeah. Yes, we have our, actually our jewelry designer is uh, one of our models today, so we'll get to meet her in a minute. But all right. yeah, it's all about texture and all about these nods to the tropical. Yeah, head to toe, yeah. those <laughs> shoes, you have them on, they are so uh, cute. Well. You know, the nude color, it just sort of takes you again from fall to spring. You mm -hmm. could wear this all year. And these, it's all about these knot details and sort of abstract bow uh -huh. details. So she could wear this with skinny jeans, but then pop it with this beautiful yeah. dress. All right, very yeah. pretty, thank you. Okay, when it's cooler outside, throw on that jacket. Uh, How pretty is that? You know what? I love lightweight jackets. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in your closet, you're always looking for that transitional jacket that you feel like isn't too heavy, but mm -hmm. it gives you the coverage and makes you feel like you've got a little warmth if you need it. This is a beautiful, it's our Tory jacket. It's a fabric that we sourced in France. So it's sort of this nubby tweed, but very lightweight and this beautiful tomato red. And I loved how we popped it with the blush pink. So yeah. it's real feminine Instead with the of being red. Matchy, yeah, matchy. exactly. Yeah. It's unexpected. I don't think everyone would really think about that, but adding that blush with the red, I think is an unexpected combination. Stop so. it with that handbag. Look at that right I there. Know. Oh, I feathers, feathers, love feathers. That. Yes. I know. We're flying together this yeah. season with our feathers. <laughs> but, you know, it was all about fringe last season, and mm -hmm. fringe is still important, but, you know, I'm seeing it going to more natural, the feathers. You can see feather earrings and feather details all through the fashion season. So yeah. we did it on this cute little clutch. And I'm going to go down those shoes. There's the cork I was yeah, talking I know. about. We, <laughs> You love the cork. Love you the always cork. bring up I the do. cork. I love the cork because I, I just, who else is using cork in their shoes, right? Like, in this way. I mean, you've seen it in a heel, yes. but this is actually using it as like the top part of the shoe. I know, shoe and making it sporty in mm -hmm. the sneaker. And I feel like cork is also one of those materials that's highly transitional. So, yeah. again, taking you into that spring season. Thank so. you. All right, and this dress right here, oh, again, one of those so things that you fun. can pop a, a heel with it and wear exactly. it to work or be much more casual yeah. on vacation with this. So this is, I, I think, the ideal transitional spring dress. You know, it just gives you the coverage with the sleeves. Mm -hmm. This is our custom indigo batik print. So again, kind of this vacation-inspired print. And then, you know, the unexpected pop of the sneaker. This is a synthetic navy satin espadrille sneaker. Yeah. Well, the sneakers actually become more of, I mean, before yeah. people knew you had a tennis yes. shoe on, right? Yes. But now, they become part of like fashion. That's it. So it's like, I wanted to talk about that today, that you can take these sneakers and she could go to work with this, feel a little polished with her with her dress, but then feel comfortable. Yeah. You know, and I think that women are open-minded today that you don't have to wear a three-inch heel with this dress, yeah. you know, to feel good about yourself. So these sneakers, you're just seeing them wear with everything. Dresses, yeah. jeans, the whole gamut, even little blazers with right. sneakers. So the you'll see a lot of sneakers. Yeah. <laughs> it's all and, about the sneakers. Is that a cork bag? Yeah. <laughs>
Is that right there? Pop the cork on that bag right there. Uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful uh, purse no, there, fun too. cork tote there, right. too. Thank you. Okay, the cold uh, shoulder or keyhole yeah. right there on that shoulder is such a popular trend so right now, too. Fun. This is Amy. This is our jewelry designer. Oh. So she's our genius jewelry designer. She has the little feather earrings on. It's all about feathers, like I mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, cold shoulder, I've had people ask me, it's still really important. Yeah. You're still going to see I think that was all, not going to go away. Yeah, I mean, it's just all about these sleeve details. We added the little flutter sleeve here. And I think this beautiful sort of coral firework red color is a great transitional color. If you want to head into spring, having a little pop of color, and then again, the cork bag with that underlay print, yeah. really fun confetti print there. Your spring so. collection is tropical transition. So you right. see the, the tropical colors yes, that you have. Yes, but transitional yeah. pieces and versatile pieces. Because I do think that women look at their wardrobe today and want to feel like that they can go into the season with ease. Mm -hmm. and they don't feel restrained by all of a sudden sleeveless dresses, but it's still cool outside. Right, so. right. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, shoes. Shoes. Oh, oh wait, whoa, stop oh, it. Oh, yeah, Look that's cute. Look at those fun slip-on loafers. Again, the knot sort of bow, abstract bow detail, and these fun little slips. Everybody's wanting this easy, mm -hmm. effortless, but still there's a refinement and a polish to it. Yeah. So those Thank are you. beautiful. All right. You're also known for your um, snakeskin prints oh, as well. Yes, we love our python prints. And, you know, I wanted to talk a little bit about denim today. Denim, again, being a huge trend, but also just being a core staple in anybody's wardrobe. And the perfect material, to, again, to take you from the seasons to season. So we did this fun little new bomber jacket and denim, and then added that fun indigo little tunic underneath, mm -hmm. and then popped it with our fun side sunset python print. Yeah. And those shoes. I love I know, those again. Too. again, a sneaker that's been this, upgraded, yes, right? Yes, the python sneakers. So this is a great way to get the casual look, but then still feel edgy and fashionable. And also it's a conversation piece yeah. as well. I yeah. think to have this. Yeah. So, Very but nice. this bag I think is so fun with those tortoise resin handles, and she can wear it as a crossbody or as a little clutch with yeah. that handle. Right Love there. it. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. All right, our next <laughs> model here. Oh wow! Oh look at this! Oh, I, I don't think this is your design. Oh, uh, I mean, I love plaid. Yeah. But, uh, right? We're going this to fall. Is, yes, plaid and cork. All right, it's not time for the Scottish segment yet, but I understand since Duncan Scottish, you're thinking that it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, you, hold, sit tight. We'll, we'll get to you a little yeah. bit later on. But for more information on Elaine Turner and her new spring collection, which does not include the plaid skirt, we have a link on greatdayhouston.com.